God, main menu themes don't need to go this hard. I'm live now. Hello, Daybreak. If you hear Daybreak um, <laughs> hiccuping in the background, please excuse her. But we are here. I double checked with my sources, my sources being my brother. Um, and he says it shouldn't spoil anything. This is kind of, he said it might be like an introspective thing where it's like, you know, oh, if you've watched or read Marvel comics, you'll know what's going to happen in the movies because you read the comics. Like, no shit. Right? So we should be good to go. At least I hope. So we'll start watching this again. Today, we use our power to fell a god, and then seize our destiny! All that I am is fading. The memory of a god's existence, born from the chaos of creation. What were you looking at? The sea? Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. Holy shit, one year later, we're just starting off on junks of all things too. Oh, is that Shulk? Look at him in his normal clothes. <sighs> is he exploring shit? Oh, he's going to Alcaboth. There it is. Does his voice actor sound different? We're inside of Alchemar. All right, I'm on my way. What the fuck? Double what the fuck? The voices sound different. Why is Alcaboth shooting Shulk? I have so many questions. Did they use, like, the original game audio for the first part, and then this is maybe the voice actors now, or something? Oh, look at our Monado, it's different as well! Also, why didn't Shulk and Melia together, but no one else? There's a lot of questions here. That's a Telethia. Holy shit, this place looks cool though. This is like a little desert area. There's some Bunnivs. There's some, what are they called again, Ponios? There's some mammoths. This feels like the start of like a Jurassic Park movie. Bionis shoulder. Oh, the Bionis is like flat, fell on the floor. Oh. Okay. So, like, the Bionis has got a floating island above it? Phew. Guess we're still in one piece. No, one piece is Quite. different. What in the world was that? It happened so quickly that I didn't get a good look myself. I saw some flickering around the capital. Then suddenly, a black beam. A black beam? Some new defensive measure, perhaps. 
The junks. Can it fly? Some components sustained heavy damage. It won't budge until we can swap them out. Right. It's fine. They're not particularly rare parts. They'll have them in Alchemoth. <sighs> you make it sound very simple. Remember, we are still very much in the dark here. Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably be needing this. I... Sister Swan, watch out on Roy! What? I'll take care of it. Kino handle left side. Not you! Those voices. Uh, are those? Right, two little knob ones. It's Kino and Nene. What are they doing here? I love hitting the Nene. Shulk, we must help them. Of course. I. Melia's voice actor sounds completely different. Shulk's one sounds similar, but just different enough. Some elements of this new adventure are very different from the adventure so far. Most of the major points will be introduced on the following pages. As you progress through the system, instead of chain attacks, you unlock an all new system of performing all out attacks. You'll still require a segment of the gauge to revive fallen allies. In the new adventure, Shulk has lost his power to see visions. This calls for more caution than before when it comes to your enemy's most powerful attacks. Some allies will battle in ways not present before. The skill tree system has been removed. Further changes, so keep an eye out as you play. Alright, I do like their new outfits. They look more modern. We get the Monado Replica EX. I don't have any... ...thing. We got the Rex jacket and stuff. Whoops. Oh, I can put on his old armors, but I guess this is new for the DLC. I do like his new fit, though. That's pretty cool. Melia has the <laughs> the world ender? Fuck me. Alright. Stuff that pr presages the end of an old age and heralds a new one. That's a kind of sick stuff, not gonna lie. It looks like a, a mini Monado stuff. What else we got? We got arts. Are all our arts the same? Yep, and they're all standardized to level 5. Do we have all our Monado arts? Yeah, we do. All at level 5 too. And Melia is running... <laughs> Melia has arts. She she definitely does. Um, let's, let's edit Melia a bit. Don't mind me. We got Mind Blast, not Hypnotize, god no. And since we don't have a healer, we're going to have to keep healing Gift on. Oh no, not again. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. Alright, I'm going to have to do a Collectopedia. Ah, oh, there's an NPC somewhere over there, apparently, according to my map. Mondado stuff. Nice, Rose. You fucked up Monado. I wonder what an all-out attack is going to be like. Oh! Listen to that music, though. Bless you, Daybreak. My question is, why is Melia and Shulk together? And I don't mean that as a negative. Um, did did Fiora die? I assume not. I guess we'll go find out. Who next in line to get face full of mild down? Mild down instead of wild down?
Is she supposed to be like a knop on that idolizes Ryan? Because that would be fucking hilarious. Let us help too. Miss Melia, Mr. Shulk. How very welcome. More is always merrier. I guess that's supposed to be our Shala and our I hope that's our Shulk. Mile down is fucking hilarious, by the way. Alright, let's see what arts they got. We have Doze Off, which is defuel fuses feeling of panic from overusing Oh my god. These are literally all of Charlotte's arts. <laughs> Drive boost noggin shot instead of headshot. <laughs> It'll blast instead of Metal Blast. Oh my god, this is so cute. Yogurt stance instead of covert stance. Holy shit, this is fucking funny. And this is, yeah, this is Ryan. Literally, <laughs> instead of Dive Sabat, we get Chive Sabat. Feather Swing instead of, um, I forgot what this was called. Sword Drive Lariat, Mild Down instead of Wild Down. Shield Cause Smash instead of Shield Bash. Angry Engage. Oh my god. What's your talent art called? Glad Torn instead of, um, Mad Torn. <laughs> Oh, I like this a lot. Let's put Nene in. They're like, we want to introduce new characters, but we don't want to give them new abilities. And like, yeah, no, don't worry about it. Oh my god, this is great. This is just so far fun. I love the music. Big sis, we did it. Job is good one, Kino. That was amazing, you two. It was like seeing Ryan and Sharla fighting together again. Just so. Fitting. For children of here upon Ricky's household. No way, they're Ricky's children! Injuries, Kino. Hmm? Nene, very, very sorry. Kino, not so good with strangers. Oh, really? Most interesting. Please do not take personally. If we stay here, there is a risk of another attack. We should move to a safer location. Very well. Is this acceptable? Plenty acceptable. Right. Let's go. I wonder if she says dumb shit like Ryan. Like, now it's Ryan time. Now it's day no time. <laughs> that would be so dumb. I see an ether crystal, oh boy. This place looks promising. We can take a break here. It was it was five feet. So tell us, what were you two doing out there? Rather, how did you even get here at all? That. Melia, I think these two must have come on the junks. What? Are you quite sure, Shulk? When you consider their relative positions, I think it's quite credible. The capital on the Bionis shoulder. So. Ah. So that is where the junks comes in then. I appreciate it. But even though we won peace with Zamz's defeat, 
The rebuilding continues. Much remains to be done. I realize that. And I also know that you've been putting in every effort. So why then? If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Shulk. That's... We could be there and back in less than half a day. Mama? to explain. Mama, we're just on little strolly stroll when we suddenly hear voices. Now, now, Kino. Nene watched Kino with eyes of Rogel. Kino, follow Mr. Shulk from behind and do some sneak peekings. Mama, Sister Pond followed Kino and sneak peek on too. Me, me, me. Hmm. So you stowed away like I thought. But what for? Kino always look up to Dead upon. Want to become mighty here upon too. I'm certain Ricky would be most proud. But how did that lead to you boarding our vessel? He see opportunity to help people who are in trouble. That way can become friends with people everywhere. Mighty here upon make friends with Every toe step, or so dead upon say, at least. I see. That does explain things. Many, many sorries. I love this remix. Please not scold Nene. Fault is of Kino only. Kino. Sincere sorries. Kino wanted to repay debt. Dad upon a mom upon take Kino in when Kino all alone. You were alone. It's true. One day, out of blue, Dad upon bring Kino home. Oh, he's adopted. He was bred upon. That day, nobody made comments. Everyone except Kino. Kino, more happy they could say. That boy, that boy. Oh, they want to become hero upon and repay that to family. You know, really sorry. Kino, you do your family honor. Yours is a most noble sentiment. I am utterly certain that Ricky and Oka are proud of you too. Hmm. Actually, Melia and I are in a bit of trouble right now. We could use the help. For oh, really? Uh-huh. Oh, Fino must. You really twist wing. But fine. But I'll have to be sidekicks of Kino. Oh my god, he's just like his dad. This is so fucking cute. I love this already. So, we'll be heading for the capital to find parts for the junks. Yes, about that. Hmm? It's a bit of a hike, but could we check out that cape? Explain. I'm a bit concerned. What you said about defensive measures. You fear we may come under fire again. Is that it? Yeah. It is true. Caution frequently pays off in the long run. The cape it is. Great. It's settled. Legend of Hero Volcano! It all starts here! Mahay! 
Oh, they both do the little ear dance. Except Kino's one is a bit more goofy. Oh my god, I'm loving this already. I'll have to change around their arts a bit. Because I don't like using our aura, aura burst, aura toast. Um, I like using uh, magnum charge. Or Magnum Starch, as it were. And Engage, but... I mean, Spike ain't bad. I'd just rather make sure that you definitely have the aggro. And we can give you Bone Upper. Instead. As for you, if you're going to be our Shala, then you better play like it. Covert Stance is good, but we want Boost instead. And we want Headshot. There we go. I wonder what their armors and stuff are called. Friend Shelterer. The guard, this thoughtful design is inspired by a popular Nopon soft toy. Oh, you don't get many options. That makes sense. Oh, no, I don't want to take off your armor. What's this changing? Is this your backpack? Yeah, it is. What about you? You only get one intrepid style. Oh, I get it. Your clothes, even though you're supposed to be based off Shala, your clothes are like Ricky. I didn't expect this. Why is there a chat bubble here? Is this a heart to heart? Don't say that. They might mistake me for a Call of Duty player. She can hit the sword drive at least. Nene hitting the sword drive. Friend Shelter. Oh. Are oh, they going to have all new fucking lines as well? So less block rate, but more everything. Looks so similar to the French Otter, one can only cry out. Oh. I want to see what this is. Get to know each other in quiet moments. Tell me the conditions for viewing a given scene for back. Free to come back when you do. Okay, so it's heart to hearts without... Affinity, because I guess we just don't have affinity. Wait, are these going to be voiced? Oh, don't they smell heavenly? Yeah. yeah. Miss Melia Thank God. Is a big fan of flowers? Yes, because of my mother. When I was young, she often asked for my help with the villa's flower beds. How about you, Nene? Nene also loves flowers very much. I see. Then we have something in common. Before. When I spoke of them to a Hom's friend, she said flowers are nice, but nothing beats a warm dinner. I got no understanding from her. Finally, fate sent me someone I can communicate with. What Miss Melia say about dinner? Oh, just talking to myself. The dinner part wasn't really relevant. But Nene, big fan of dinner too. Most of all, pollen orbs from factory in Frontier Village. They so very soft and so yummy scrummy. Look, that's not. Hold on. Meme? When you said you love flowers, did you mean as a food stuff? Meh? There is meaning other than? Oh, I should have known. You're one of them. Nene, listen. That's fucking flowers hilarious. Are not simply special because they can be eaten. We can admire their beauty, or use them to create ornaments and works of art. 
And that is a great part of their charm. Or in a month. Mama! Oh, yes! Nini, remember! Long ago, Dad upon made Mama upon a flower crown for give us gift. Ricky did that. That knock one has hidden depths. <clears throat> in any case, I would like it if you also had an interest in inedible flowers. If you did, then you too, just like your mother in her own day, may know the joy she felt. Okay. The next time Nene find flowers that cannot eat, Nene will make pretty flower crown for Miss Melia. Huh? To eyes of Nene, Miss Melia look most bestest in blue. What think? While I appreciate the offer greatly, weren't you originally of the regarding flowers as food persuasion? Ma? If you make pollen orbs from not eatable flowers, they bitter and not tasty. Yes, a fair point. It is just as you say. So knock on seed, different but equal value, in flowers depending on whether they're edible. Maybe it was foolish in the first place to try and choose only one while discounting the other. Well then, I will humbly accept the sign of your affection. Nay, nay, Roger that! And yet, why do it for me? Won't Kino and Shulk feel left out? There is very good reason. Nene just want to see smiling face of Miss Melia, bright as sun rays. Oh my. Mimi? Something wrong? Nene, not say anything weird? No. Not at all. It was just how sincerely you said it. I should take a leaf out of your book. Me? Precious Nene, I look forward to the gift. Nene pull out all stops. Although, I would feel a bit awkward were I the only one to wear one. Why don't we make them together and exchange them afterwards? Mimi? That sound wonder marvelicious. Is deal. No, in fact, is unbreakable promise. Yes, naturally. The things Melia is saying are insane. They are. I. I mean, at first I wasn't sure about Melia's voice actor, but now I'm. I'm pretty alright with it. It's pretty chill. Um, especially if we get you know scenes like that that I don't have to talk over. Thank fuck. Part of me also wants to jump off the cliff because you know, tempting. And part of, of me wants to kill some monsters. Um, you know, get some levels. Is that an X? There is, a Magna X. What is he doing over here? Already on that grind set. Yeah, you know it. Uh, where's Enchant? Oh, I can't enchant! I was like, I'm gonna enchant to make everyone's damage go up. But we can't. Oh, shock, not feeling racist anymore, or? Now he's like, no, nah, I can't have something that only, like, helps fight mech on. Husk Chucker. That's technically better since we don't have any gems. They have level 67 tokens and shit. I'm just trying to, like, enjoy the game. <laughs> like, this is so cool getting to explore. There's people up there, but I don't know how I'd reach them, really. I want to see what's up here, though. The music is gorgeous, too. 
Hey, what the fuck was that? Oh, Ignis. Or Lugas as well. We can fuck up this Doom Hawks. A palm top elephant. And you know, you're supposed to topple them. Holy shit. I'm already on that dying grind set, apparently. God damn. Cannot do this quiet moment yet. Okay, that's all I was checking. Well, we'll go towards the uh, thing. I'll try not to overgrind too much, but I just like killing things. Oh! Unique enemy though, never mind. Let's fuck him up. Let's switch out Nene out for Kino though. Oh, we get the same music for this though. Holy shit, Melly is... I'm dead. Oh my god. I guess... I shouldn't fight things until I start getting gems, I guess. I thought we're level 60. At level 60, I could take on like level 70 things, but. Enemy to. Don't you dare give me casual mode, you dumb fucking son of a game. I guess this is what no bitches does to a man, huh? You get lock on, suppress three. And that's it. Oh, what the fuck? We can activate a hood. We can give him a hoodie. Can we give that to Melia? No. It's only for Shulk. That's so weird. That they gave us like... Why does the hoodie look so fucking fat on his head though? I did miss having an actual Monado though. Is that a whole camp full of people? It looks like it's gonna be. Who the fuck is living here? Are they Turkin? No, they're actual... Special tool in order to mine here. Okay. They're actual Hyentia. Do they not recognize Melia by name, though? I see. You've had a rough time of it. However, I suggest you steer clear of Alkamoth. Even if you do somehow get there in one piece, don't expect the transporters to be running. Oh? Why's that? The thing that shot at you was no defense platform. 
It was a monster we've taken to calling the Fog King. The Fog King? Yeah. Suddenly showed up in Alchemoth a few months back. From what I gather, you're from the Imperial Guard. Are the swords you carry just for show? Taking a sword to it is folly. It laughs at our attacks. It's like hacking at smoke. Blows pass clean through it. Must be ghost! Ghost not shoot beams, dum-dum. So that's why you call it the Fog King. We fought in defense of our home. We were ready to die, and many of us did. But in the end, it won us nothing at all. The Fog King's attacks tore into us hard. Eventually, we gathered the Hyentia and anyone else we found, and gave up the capital, so that we might live. How awful. My grieving heart belongs there. Our heartland, our capital. <sighs> Yet I cannot even mourn it. <sighs> Maxis. Huh? Yes? Please, you have to tell us how to get inside. Shulk, be serious. Boy, are you hard of hearing? I heard you. Then you should know better. No matter the situation, we have to go. If I fix the junks, we can all leave this place. Then, once we're in Colony 9, we can make plans to retake Alchemoth. No point. Why not? Shulk, do you think we took all that lying down? Huh? We're not stupid, you know. We did all we could. It's true. I want to go home. But that's a dream that won't come to pass, and it already costs too many lives. <sighs> Maxis. Bro, we've I literally fought God. From. Still, I have to be blunt with you. Let it go. Don't try to Elsa me out of this. This is one year after canonically killing God. Now what? Judging from the speech, I can't see us convincing him. So this mean we're stuck here? Quite a predicament, Empress Melia. Oh, he looks evil. Who are you? How do you know my name? Look how evil I he looks. I beg your pardon. Gelgar. At your majesty's service. Formerly of the personal protection division of the Alchemoth Guard Regiment. Is that so? Then the pardon is mine to beg, Sir Gelgar. And please, dispense with the majesty. Perish the thought, your majesty. The recent war has rid us of the wicked purebloods. A new age dawns, and we half-breeds are chosen for its caretakers. With you, Lady Melia, as our shining paragon, I cannot but address you as Majesty. Now you're just making shit weird. <laughs> I have no patience for weedling. Especially from knaves who spit on their ancestors. Oh, fuck. I would never dream of doing such. I merely spoke plain truth, no more. As you wish. But the... Majesty address is burdensome to me. If you absolutely insist. Until you deign to acquiesce, Lady Melia will have to suffice. So kind, Sir Gelgar. Make no mention of it, Lady Melia. Sir Gelgar, we really need to get to Alchemoth, no matter what. Ah, yes. I have heard your exchange with Maxis, hindering the Empress's triumph. A narrow-minded fool, if ever there was one.
To begin the authentication process, one must raise their hand to the transporter. The device is configured in such a way that only some of the Hyentia in this land and the Imperial family may pass. Hence, Lady Melia should not have the slightest issue activating it. Issue. A similar mechanism to the tombs, then. That's our ticket into Alchemoth. Yes. Tasty news! Friend Galgor is good friend! Don't say that, Kino. Kind thanks, bird mister. Not at all. I am but a humble servant in Lady Melia's employ. If it not displease my ladyship too grossly, may I offer you my companionship on your journey? No. I have a modicum of skill with the blade. Please rest assured. Oh, is he our Dunban? I appreciate the offer, but must refuse. We do not lack for strength. Indeed. A great shame. Should the need arise, I shall remain ready to serve. Certainly. By the way, Sir Galgar, this outpost appears to consist of naught but soldiers. Where might all the other refugees reside? They dwell beyond the Grandel ramparts, which lie below this point. They live at a remove from you, then? Yes, because of the machina who live there. What do you mean? Might you have forgotten? When the war broke out, it was the Machina's treachery that lit the fuse. Oh, so he's still racist. Were it not for them, we needn't have lost our brethren and our home. You couldn't stand the Machina and thus moved away? Precisely. But the war is concluded, Sir Gelgar. Some simply cannot let go so easily. <sighs> Melia! Shall we go see for ourselves? Ah, yes. Very well. Sir Gilgar, we will take our leave of you now. Do please take care of yourselves. You'll find passage to the capital through the Cragmore Caverns. Sir Gilgar. Thanks for this. Can't wait for him to be like reveal that he's evil and then his eyes open. The same to you all. You know the anime trope. Visiting shops, interact with people, accepting quests, okay. Soltis, living here is not easy, but it's the path we chose for ourselves, so we have no regrets. The day we left Alchemoth behind, we swore an oath to the memory of our fallen companions. We said we'd go back there some days, somehow. No hardship is too great, so as long as I'm walking towards that goal. Do we have an affinity shop? No, we do not, so I don't have to talk to every fucking person. Yes. Could you consider assisting us with a heart? Could you go into more detail? Go down from here to the direction of the lake and you'll arrive at Navi Highland. There you should find some Magna X. Ek Iron Hearts. I remember fucking farming those. Hey. Just more monster kill quests. Yep. I'm kind of, uh, kind of annoyed with these high NTR. Like, imagine being prejudiced against your whole life, right? And then the people that were evil or prejudiced against you decided to, uh, not decided to, sorry. They ended up dying. So you're free from all the prejudice. And now you're like, hmm. I'm going to be prejudiced against another race. How fucking dumb. That's really frustrating. Also, I just noticed Shulk has a new portrait as well. Brother Sister Pon. Hope they're not giving Mama Pon. 
fun. Too much trouble, Buckets. Nene, there you are. Something the matter? Kino's been looking for you. Something about stubbing his toe? Little Pond never change. Nene will run back later and go, there, there. <laughs> You're a good sister, Nene. Or maybe more like a mum. By the way, what were you doing out here, Nene? Nene being reminiscing about Frontier Village, tiny bit. I see. So, that's where you were living before? Yep. In Pals, Nene always adventure into Magna Forest with Brother Sister Pon and climb trees every day. I assume you were the responsible one then. That silly question. Knock on boys, all good for nothing lazy bones. It all too much for Mama Pon to handle, so Nene have to help take care of Brother Sister Pon and Dad Pon all full up. <laughs> I wonder what Ricky would have to say to that. Dead upon, after he'd chosen for village hero pod, and set off on great adventure with Mr. Shulk, house become total pigsty, hungry little pon underfoot, everywhere. Wow, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait, was this after Ricky joined us? So that must mean... Yep, before Nene become friends with Mr. Shulk and friends here, we actually meet one year ago, back in Frontier Village. Dadapon, stomach bumbly bumbly. Dadapon, need food. Dadapon, give crab. <sighs> You're kidding. I'm sorry, I feel kind of bad about this now. Though... In my defense, you've really grown. It's almost like you're a whole different Nopon. In Nopon biology, age between 10 and 15 often experience growth spurt. That why, when compare Nene now and Nene one year ago, it not too surprising if not realize they the same person. It's still quite a surprise. I never knew that a Nopon could grow that much in a single year. <laughs> Now Mr. Shog no can rely on post-growth spurt Nene more than ever. <laughs> we can always count on Nopon. Us Homs could learn a lot from you. But Nene have these moments lately when get teeny bit lonely. <laughs> Her eyes were fucking hilarious. Mr. Shulk, such chow hound. Uh, I don't think that was me. Nene, prepare some grub. Too sweet. Now, now, Mr. Shulk, go Coquino and Miss Melia and tell to wash up. Really, that's... Hmm. We thought she was so grown up for always taking care of Kino. But really, she's just a kid. No wonder she's lonely. Mr. Shulk, something happened? Tell me to rumbly to moo, or what? Wait, I've got it. Mama? I'll round up all the others. Then after, we can all chip in with a meal. It'll be more fun that way. Mr. Shulk... ...would not say no. We already, like, Nene is already twice the character that Sharla ever was. And I know I talk pretty bad about Sharla. But, like, I feel like Sharla had no characteristics outside of, Hi, I'm the healing mom of the group. But Nene, like, already has an actual character. And I'm very appreciative for that. Pororo's favorite. <laughs> Pardon me. I've got a little bit of the... <laughs> the hiccups. Call me Daybreak. Thinking of his Daybreak asleep. 
Clear break. Psst, 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 psst. Yeah, she's asleep. This game is so peaceful that it put their brick to sleep. I don't really feel like episodes where bad guys aren't doing anything and it turns into slice in life. Oh no, I'm fairly sure that dude's either gonna become a bad guy or he's gonna be a um he's gonna be a fucking um party member eventually that will have to learn that other races aren't so bad. Sorry, I started um skipping this. Once I realized that this was just a tutorial on how to mine ether crystals. Broken ether pick. Hey. We can now mine ether crystals, I bet. Oh, you just get gems. That's... Honestly, I kind of like that better. Do I want to go all the way for that mining spot, though? No. Any other quests? Yeah, there is. All right, what do you need to do? Gather some stuff and kill some stuff. Okay. So I need to gather wild grass, defeat three praying caterpillars and two noble bronze. Slim down some of the stuff, which is good for a deal. So yeah. I'm glad they didn't slim down like characterization. Like some of the characters look really good. Like I really like Nene's design. I really like um the the guy that I think is gonna be evil high end tier design. It's good. I noticed there's some like other battle quotes and stuff between them. Are you gonna fight me? Nice moves, Mr. Shulk! I actually find it funny how much we've actually learnt about Ricky as well, through his children. Because Nene said how, like, the house went to, not to shit, but it became a pigsty once Ricky left, which means Ricky contributed a lot of housework, probably. Um, I don't know, I just, I like it. I'm happy. Ah, uh, nebulas. I hate fucking fighting them. Oh, we're only going to get four party members. Because I just noticed the reserve is just like one party member at the moment. Alright, um, I guess Ida would be the best. <laughs> I like the new little like voice lines like how Kino was like much amazed but no stealing limelight that makes me happy So how does this work? 
Oh wait, I'm bound, so I can't do it yet. How do I union strike? Am I missing something? Killed it, so. Maybe it's because that was an aerial enemy. Maybe we'll try like a ground one. Also, we got some gems, so let's see if I can't give you HP up. Yeah, there we go. Team up with Pond Spectres. What the fuck's Pond Spectres? Do I need both Ponds in the party for that? Oh, as you progress, you will unlock a new system. Okay. So we don't have it yet. That's a bit of a shame. Get some quests done, just like old times. Oh, that wasn't... I didn't realize that uh, the thing glowing was Cyclone. I thought it was the thing to get rid of the barrier. Also, why did Ricky give one of his, like, sons a gun? I don't know how I feel about the music. On one hand, the music is fun and funky, but comparing it to like mechanical rhythm and shit, the music's kind of, uh, I wouldn't say poopy, it's just like, I liked hearing it once. Listening to it over and over is just okay. So this game makes me wonder if Shulk gave up like his visions and stuff, how come he still has the power of the Monado? 
Because I thought the Monado is what granted him visions. Or did he just give up the vision part when it was to do with the, like... The whole thing of, like, oh, you know, it's better to live our life without knowing and make mistakes and stuff. I will say, in battle, Shulk sounds almost exactly the same now. Melia's voice is kind of getting there for me, like I'm understanding it. I don't know what I just examined, but that's fine. I don't know, like, how long this DLC is going to be, so I don't know if I'm, like, trying to... Wait a second, is this... Oh my god, look at this! They actually have quests where you have to pick up, like red items, but more than one of them. I like that. It's a small thing, but it's a fun thing. stuff official stuff less crit rate though could be there you go nay nay now she's starting to do nay nay things oh well more accurately, she's starting to do Rhine things. when we bring our might to bear. <laughs> That's because you're both pretty sturdily built. Huh? Huh? Why the cold stairs? <laughs> Wait, is there an enemy behind me? Oh my god, that was such a fucking funny interaction. Shulk, you can't call a woman st like sturdily built. You can't do that, Shulk. Let us hurry onwards. Nene needs more! 
Uh, it looks like there's some ether crystals up here, but I don't think I'm going to walk all the way up there just for some ether crystals. Sorry to say. I am going to fast travel back to the cape though, uh, and hand in some of the quests. And maybe check out the shop. Also mine, why not? We have no armor that we can equip currently. Okay. <laughs> there we go, but those are unique, so they don't even need that. What's Rudra held? Oh! Agility. Good. Is that agility too? Yeah, it is. Thank you. Shulk's going edgy. He's going through his Kingdom Hearts phase. Hi there. This is all pretty like heavy armor. I think I'll stick with what I have. Especially with the lack of um, ability to change what uh, like skill links to make my armor not weigh as much and shit like that. I think I'll be right. Alright, he's just like, hey, thanks for doing those three quests. Turns out they were all connected. Alright. Before I teleport back, I want to fuck up that bunny that killed me. And I'll probably just walk there. Because I see blue items and I can't help it. There's another Collectopedia, you know what that means. I'm going to need all the fucking blue items I can get. A Moro Cob. High leaf. I know some people. A kilo pumpkin. Rainbow carrot. Half part. Navi high. Oh, well, that's the location. Blade bird. Well, we can level up some of our arts as well. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm leveling this bad boy up. Oh, we need advanced R manuals. Ah, uh, where's Sword Drive? Alright, rematch time, motherfucker. Ouch. Oh, I 
Come on, revive. You got this. Thank you. Shit. I was hoping Kino would uh, heal a bit quicker than that. So we still died to rabbits, which is uh, annoying. Because I could have swore we had that. I guess it's because we aggroed all the mobs. I'm going to give that another go because I'm angry. And I feel like we should have had that. Like, as the kids say, no cap. But this time I'll fight him without the other rabbits. Wow, I can't even stun him fast enough. Good mind blast, Melia. Good healing, Nene. Wait, no, that's not Nene, that's Kiko, I think. We've got a husk chucker. Yeah, a slot one. We've got another one of these, but this one's two slots, so. We can do that for uh, Nene. Yeah, Kino, sorry. I should just call him Luma for short. And that way I will never forget his fucking name. Oh, that will haunt me till the day I die. Do we have any pages done yet? Nope. I'm gonna start filling some of them in. So Nene named as she skimmed it across water. It never stopped. An elephant so small it can fit in the hand. That would be the most adorable fucking thing. A little tiny baby little baby elephant? Oh my god. I will say, I do really like this kind of level design. A lot of Xenoblade areas can seem kind of flat, but this this place makes good use of like terrain. I like it. Ah, Aqua Nebula. Never mind. Very well. 
So far this game is giving us like, or at least giving me a nice mix of new and old that I'm actually like really enjoying. It feels almost like a new game completely. One more Aqua Boy. Oh shit, Nene, no, you're asleep and you're going towards the waterfall. Come on, I need you to attack Melia. There we go. It's gonna blow up. Oh, thank God. So, the Imperial Alchemoth is monster dubbed Fog King. You better be Fog King kidding me. What the fuck is that little red thing? What is that? Why is there like a little staff here? I'm sure that'll be important later, but... Four friends pass here. Pleased to hear story. It's an ordeal in our immediate future. Meh. Gratitude for stopping in tracks. What is matter? Matter is a bit complicated, to be frank. If we can help, we would like to do so. Meh. -meh. Although we've pretty much only just arrived here, so it's directions you need, we might not be the ones to ask. Issue not about where to go, actually, is about tracking down friends. They get lost? They're not lost, no. They're scattered to designated locations to perform ordered land survey. What kind of po uh, what point of that? Measuring relative and absolute elevation of terrain, plot distance, and other such. Oh no, completely forgot to do mandatory self-intro. Qualified, certified, satisfaction, guaranteed, Ponspector Tentu is name. Surveying new lands is his game. Pleasure to meet you, Tentu. I'm Shulk, and these are Melia, uh, th 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 these are Melia, Nene, and Kinu. Please, pleasure all belong to tend to. My curiosity is a little piqued. May I ask what a Ponspector is? The question is extremely well timed. Ponspectors is the name of elite unit of Nopon surveyors, and Tentu is one. Nopon from Frontier Village, surely he Ponspector's name said in tone of reverence at least once or twice. Um, does Mr. Pon have any clue? Nene guess that a Pon might know? Ugh, things worse than Tentu thought. Long period of suspended activity was disastrous for brand recognition. Meh, no. Tribulation is only opportunity in full body costume. Go on, Tentu. Have to put best foot forward. Tentu and other pond actually come to Bionis' shoulder to conduct full and complete survey. 
but Chief One One, who is brigade leader, forgot to inform the rendezvous point. So, so though ten two finish your own assignment, look like creek without paddle, except all pond specters in the same boat. Ten two thinks should probably go look for teammates, but uh, with monsters carpeting land, probably even veteran pond specter like ten two have hard time. Apart from yourself, how many members does your team number? Nice round eleven. Eleven, I see. So th this, fa this is a vast land, so searching by yourself it certainly seems dangerous. Do you know where your colleagues might have gone? Hmm, Tentu has a couple thinklings. Two prospectors can probably find and maybe have clues for others' whereabouts. All writings, then we go search for first two. Now wait a single minute, Kino. Still plenty of important business we're attending to. Tentu not get underfoot promise. Friends look strong, so maybe thought could go with. That way, see if prospectors somewhere along the travel path can help each other. Is a good plan or what? What do you think, Amelia? Do you really need to ask? Oh, wait, isn't this the guy for the chain attack? We'll help you look for Pen Spectre, friends. Should really be Miss Melia saying that. Really? Oh boy. T Ducks of Tendu, Tendu welling with joy. Thank you, friends. Can you tell us, to the best of your knowledge, where you would expect your colleagues to be? One was in charge of the area between Crossroads and way to Companion Cape, all the way to Nerthus Necropolis. I like how the camera just keeps fucking panning. That one is a bit of coward, so tend to not sure he do survey job properly. Other one was assigned to area past Cragmore Caverns, stretching from lake on lefty side to Pillar North. Might be having calls of screams at dabs at unexpected circumstances, so tend to would like to put mind at ease. Unless friends think tend to is some kind of freeloader, rest assured. When push come to shove, tend to shove. I feel better already. Thank you, tend to. But of course, tend to most grateful too. What the fuck? So I get these guys and then they perform the chain attack, right? Prospectors are elite band of surveyors from Frontier Village. It's between red, blue, and yellow teams. If you can befriend members from all three teams, Shockley's friends will gain access to a new kind of special attack. So try to seek them out wherever possible. The full Pond Spectre Brigade number is 12 members. When you recruit one, they may tip you off to the location of others. Location you've heard on, marked on your map with a thing. Pond Spectres on the bio's shoulder have issues they struggle with. Let me resolve those issues for them to gain help in the quest. In the collectibles section, you can access the Pond Spectres report to learn about the Pond Spectres you have befriended up until that point. Oh, there's one just here. There's also a quest up here. Where's that quest? It's up there. What the fuck? Qualified, certified, only mildly terrified. Prospector Tay Tay. Uh, name and surveying new lands is game. But really, none of that matter right now. Tay Tay is back in the middle of cataclysmic struggle of life and death. That doesn't sound good. Tay Tay was sneak secret surveying. Careful not to uh, careful to hide from watchful monsters' eyes. They made worse mistake of life. At end on prospection, let little victory cheer slip out. Then monsters spot Tay Tay. Monsters poised to lunge for soft, succulent body of Tay Tay. Thanks to quick escape legs, Tay Tay able to hoof it all the way here, but then crim realization dawn on Tay Tay. It's about Tay Tay lose more precious than life protective charm. Tay Tay think possibly could have dropped it at Nerthus Necropolis just up slope here. Please help Tay Tay find, dear friends. Tay Tay is begging you. Alright, we'll accept. Oh wait, we actually have the the prospect of following us. That's fucking funny. Experience 18 years, sex male, blue team, especially there there, trait obliging. So you have something in the necropolis up there. We'll see what we can do about that, buddy. Oh, you want to fight, huh? 
In battle against enemies, prospectors will jump in to help Shulk and his friends on their own initiative. Each prospector has a signature move, healing the party, debuffing enemies, and so on. Red team have offensive moves, blue team healing, but not all of them. Yellow team debuffing. If you perform well in a battle start affinity burst affinity, pressing B at the right time, Pontspectors may enter a state of high tension. Pontspectors state of high tension join the battle with all their strength and no slacking off. High tension will wear off with time, returning to normal usual state. So it's like having a fourth party member sometimes. Our Pond Spectre isn't doing much. Oh, there he goes. He healed. Alright, that's kind of good because now we don't have to run a healer. Oh my god, a fucking Gogol? At this level? Is there an ether crystal down there? Damn it. It's a red one too. Oh, there's three items there. You know I love items. Holy shit, there's a lot of people on the, um... Over there. Bunch of Ignis and Olugas. Oh, I can't be fucked grabbing that item right now. That, however, is a red item. We can't do the Union Strike yet. Is this the item he was looking for? No, that's another Poro Poro's favorite. Or Pororo. I assume Pororo is probably the name of one of these uh, Pond Spectres. Congenial Cogs. I hate that name. Alright, give me a fast travel point. You know you want to. Right here. Right here. Right here. There it is. I wonder what's in the North Necropolis. Ah. Fucking spiders. Luckily, the only ones that a bad or a rack no I 
as long as I take it nice and slow. They shouldn't mind. Though I have no clue how I'm going to get this. As I believe I need to jump. Fuck me. Right, I'll walk around or try to. Think what would Solid Snake do? Ugh, Metal Gear. That's probably what he would do. Nice. Hey, here you go, Tay Tay. What, what, what's Tay Tay do this time? <laughs> Tay Tay do this time? Well, Fred's found. Oh, his happiest day of life of Tay Tay. Tay Tay will start to be afraid and would have dangerous bad luck forever. He's like, knock on Jar Jar Binks. Physical defense down four. Holy shit. There we go, yellow teams, Tay Tay. Physical defense down is huge. Good shit, too. There's quests that are like up there, but I think that's actually from going up from the crag more caverns. Hmm. I wonder how the Collectopedia is doing. Do we have it? Oh, no, we don't. We're so close. I just want one to see if I get like a good gem or some shit off of it. Oh, can we not actually move between the cavern? Damn, unlucky, I guess. Thought I could explore more. Okay. Miss Melly, what's wrong? Is Tammy hurty? No, nothing like that. I'm just remembering what we heard at Companion's Cape. 
I have been mistaken in my thinking. The war is over and peace has been restored. We are rebuilding, slowly but steadily. I'd thought that with peace came happiness. Indeed, that even here, people would embrace it with open arms. But the reality is different. Mm. The wounds have not yet fully healed. Quite. Those who lost their home. Those seeking the light. Those who bear grudges. Though joy for them is still scarce, I thought only of me. But you didn't. Not at all. The high end here at Colony 9. Actually, everyone who remained. You worked hard for them. You, Dunban, and Atharon led by example. Just so that others could smile. Yes, yes, keep on happy heart. Kino lose that upon a mama pun, but still for a bounce. Kino. Exactly. Before, Kino cried every day. Did not even want to go potty alone. Sis! What the, what the, why you bring that up? It's completely irrelevant to discussion. Embarrass Kino not your up as many. Agree to disagree. Cannot abandon hope. Delapon's words. Hope. To become the hope of the High Entia is a fate that you choose for yourself. As long as you remember this, it is certain that you will be worthy of that name. You are the hope of the High Entia. You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. Friends, thank you. I think I can finally see now what my role here is. Onwards to Alchemoth. Onwards to not one problems. Evelyn. Qualified, certified, but fully booked, so hands are tied. Prospector Evelyn, his name. Surveying New Lands' game. Dear oh dear oh dear. Ah, friends of impeccable timing. Evelyn in dire need of helping. Survey for day was finished, so Evelyn makes sit down in sitting spot over yonder for well deserved snack break. Was just removing tasty morsel from knapsack when all of a sudden whoosh splash. Meal thing plops straight into lake. All gone in single eye wink like tears standing under a waterfall. Warpool Sardi and Lake scoffed down every last piece of hard deserved fo footage. But no ugly fishy fishing could wrath of Evelyn and live to swim about it. Sardi will rule the day it made the enemy of Evelyn. Friends speak to Evelyn because felt urged to help not want to distress, right? And please avenge poor Evelyn. You want us to kill three fish because you got fucked. All right. Oh, we got the pond specters angry.
Uh, we beat up three fish. Now join our team of Strange Nopon. I wonder if we're gonna just end the game with like 12 fucking Nopon following us. Also, two HP up gems. You know what? They're not the best, but they're definitely worth putting on. You know what? Melia deserves some health too. We almost have 8k health on our Nene. Oh, Dave Joy, Evelyn was agog watching friends bish bash smelly fish brutes. That's Evelyn feel a whole lot better now, although there's no use. Tum Tum still feels so empty, no energy left for Shimmy. But if friends are able to bring Evelyn Moro Cobb from wherever abouts, it may be able to kickstart metabolism. Well, I got three of those, so. Ah, Moro Cobbs. So tasty, you can feel life flowing back into limbs. Hanging fresh, very much, things have a. Not so sure bad after all. Ooh, Evelyn moved down the whole thing. Now is about time Evelyn make haste to find one one. Don't think about life all about helping each other, no? Don't to think about what happened if Evelyn collapsed on the road alone. Clearly friends have obligation to us. Alright, yeah, no, come with us. Come on. We get yellow team Evelyn. Friends want to know about other prospectors, not to spoil all fun, but Evelyn have one small idea. I'll try here. Ah, we learnt three more. I'm gonna just mosey on here for some quick gems. Electric ones might be good for uh, Melia, some ether, hopefully. Lightning attack, okay. Ether up, there we go. Well, we could just put lightning attack on Shulk. They're just auto attacks, so... Yeah, we don't have any armor for you right now. Now, how do I get up there then? Probably through there. Holy shit, it's one of those, oh my god, level 69, nice. Some gogles around here, some ferai. I honestly didn't expect this. Oh my god, we have fucking... Oh, we have enemy with spikes. Alright buddy, I need whatever you're selling. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. 
Nene, you deserve bragging after saving our ass. Another Pororo's favorite. By the time we meet this Pororo person, we're gonna have all of his favorites. Zen's throw up there. I guess that's probably Zen up there then. What's up, buddy? Fora Fora. Qualified, certified, making world more pu purified. Ponspecta Fora Fora is named. Our friend's gonna make up for it, huh? Apology. What? Okay, tell us what you want. Small matter of nuisances, Chroma on the other side of Zen's thoroughfare. Right hand side, they keep getting in way. Forofora is still busy mapping out areas, so if we could remove the chromas. Okay. Wait, do quests have, um... They do, they have uh, recommended levels up the top. We also have to return to hand in one of the quests, so... I'm going to do that real quick. Nemini Brim and Princess Dress D. I'm gonna guess they're both for Melia. Yeah. Crit up, which is nice. What's that? Headpiece set with Sirius and Nemini. I like that, actually. Because Sirius and Nemini's were a collectible from Colony 6. And she gets a goth outfit. Kinda cool. Hello, you must be Zen then. No, you're Lavian. Okay, you're looking for your brother. Well, I see that there's someone down there. Could that possibly be your brother? Holy shit, that's a far... Far, far track down. There's a little house here and everything. Skybridge. Something tells me this is like a story locked area. Oh, a blaze chain. Gimme, gimme. Valak skirt. Okay, I'm gonna guess that's Melia equipment. Yeah. Wow. That is shockingly bad, um, stat-wise. Why would anyone use this? The answer is they're not. This is for complete appearances only. Are there any cool, like, outfits we can do? And they're just all her old skirts, and uh, that's why it's quote-unquote resort style. Someone over here with a quest that I want to grab. Ah, I see. Do we have to go through the necropolis to go all the way under to here? That's my guess, at least. Ah, Nopon. 
Oh, Pororo, you're the fucking one. Eh, where? What Pororo do? One Pororo, extremely not enough to collect. Friends may be travel persons, that's great. Pororo has requests that would be perfect for travel persons. Come to Bionis by flying with certain esteemed person in basket attached to Paratex. There's a big hole in basket and vital food stuff that Pororo bring in an all stone across the land from sky high. A bit careless of own sight to not notice sooner, but when boss realized, fly into terrible rage. It's a crucial asset for sell-off in darkest hour of time crisis. Meh. Poro going and pick up now. That was exact order. up. Stuff that ended up scattered all over by on his shoulder is favorite for Poro. So he'd love to gather up for sure. Also full of terrible monsters. Yeah, so you want us to grab them. 20 of them. 20 of them. Fuck me. So yeah, we can't get down there without getting through the necropolis. But this place is really fucking cool. Is there a Poporo fucking favorite right here? I bet it's either under or on top. Ah oh, I like the little jumping. I could actually just play as Nene and jump around. I'm sure that won't be annoying. Alright, I need to go this way to get to the top. Alright, I don't know if we can take these guys, but I can try. We kill him. Now we'll run, right? And they will eventually leave me alone. And now everyone gets revived, and we fight the rest of them. And suddenly, it's twice as easy. Well, not twice as easy, but it's quite a bit easier. Smarter, not harder. As much as I want to go back, I'm actually going to go. The whole reason I went this way is because this looks like we can go up it. Yeah. I want to explore. I want to enjoy this place. I don't want to go down there with the Chromars and the Gogols, so... Also... I just want to say a little thing that uh, I was right, because we're on the Bionis shoulder, right? 
And when I was like, wait, are we still in the Bionis, but they remade the colony and everything like that? And they're like, no, you, they made a whole new world. No, they didn't make a whole new world. We're still in the Bionis, surrounded by, I assume, nothing. It's just the Bionis has fallen over. Is one of Pororo's favorites. And a Sky Mole. And everyone thought I was crazy when I thought we were still on the Bionis. <coughs> oh, you're just one of the fucking... Field team members, huh? Couldn't pick a nicer place to quick travel to or anything? Yes. What now? Qualified, certified, through pa though patience is severely tried. Alright, what do you need? Plant has to stake on the lake shore by the side of junks. Oh, but then we gotta go all the way back up here with no quick travel. I'm gonna go to the rest of this thing. Just to check if there's any quick travel. Just because it would be very nice right now to have, like, a quick travel right here. Right here. Right here, just a little quick travel. Instead of having to walk all of that again. Come on. Right here. Hey! <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch game. Oh wait, we did get one. Secret area. Cloud top lookout. Pardon me for the sneezing. Can I land that without dying? Probably if I like aim it here. I fear I approach my limit. Not to worry. Kino good at improvising. Can't view this yet. Okay. Well, I need to plant this. Just over here. Guess this is the place? Right then, that's the stake planted. So the other thing was his stakes too. Damn, Daybreak speaking in tongues in her sleep. Ah. Wouldn't it be a funny prank to just like completely scream as loud as I can and like wake Daybreak up? But then just pretend nothing happened and go about my day. I'm not going to do that because that would be a dick move, but still. It could be potentially funny. And that's what I live for. The potential of funny. Anyway, blue team member. Yes. Okay, so first wing witness to crime. Two can make off with steak. Uh, 
Oh my god. Feed the thief in the higher reaches of Nevi Highland to recover the stolen steak. That's level 69, so we're not going to do that quite yet. Instead, we're going to jump... Oh, Elukas are here. I remember these guys. They were in the Magna Forest. Oh, shit! Uh, they were in the Magna Forest. And they did not like... Well, they enjoyed being toppled. Because they got to... Uh, they got to spike you when they were. So yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see Kino's jumping sounds. Qualified, certified, bold, and center justified. All right, what do you want? Collect an item that drifts and digs but has no eyes. That's the mole, right? Sky mole. Yep. Well, wants to have color of harmless plant, but is highly ferocious. So, a ferris. And she said specifically they'd be watching from... Ah, oh, it's a green ferris. Okay. This isn't going well. What? Don't you dare get What? Wow. We only had like Ricky as the only knock on in the party before, and now we have just like five knock on going around beating this <laughs> like shit up for us. It's kind of cool. I can't wait to unlock our super move whenever we do unlock it. Maybe we need all the knock on of like one team to do it. Or pond specters, I should call them. Life I watched spectacu spectaculent takedown of Green Ferris. Yep. Get back to work. There we go, another blue team member. We've got two more blues to go, two more yellows, and four reds. And they gave us more. Pond Spectres on the map. So there's a red there, a yellow there, a yellow there. We always knew that red was there though. I guess we'll go see where that red wants. Since we're here anyway. Alright, we already did see what that green one want. In fact, we did what they wanted. So let's get our first red pawn on the team. to follow the far end of oh okay so I have to go all the way around which is a tad annoying because there are some strong enemies over there but we'll live god at this rate I'm gonna be level fucking 80 before we get to the next main story objective not actually but like I'm getting like up to level 69 quests, which means I'll probably be up to level 70. Huh. 
Not to mention all the grinding I'm about to do off stream. Ah, oh, the Gogols and the Chroma are working together in this, like, little broken civilization thing. Thank you, little pawn. I can get rid of one of my uh, lightning attacks and put agility down, which will be good. You know what? Let's just glass cannon you. Why not? Are those torters down there? Huh, we can actually go under... No, that's too far of a drop. Then maybe not from over there. Oops, I almost walked straight off. These speedrun stats. This isn't going well. What? Don't you dare give up. I feel like some of the lines may be the original Xenoblade lines, which makes sense, but why wouldn't they get the new voice actors to just redo their lines? Oh, Highborn Alexandra. We can't lose. Display no mercy. You want my Ultra Gore. Ouch. I'm down. I think our mistake was going in without uh, a healer. So let's try this again with one.
Oh, I was kind of hoping for a bit of a bit of healing there. Come on, we can do this. He's gonna attack. We got this. Give me a heal. I <laughs> healed Melia because I died too fast. Ah! Don't you dare recommend casual mode, you piece of shit game. I'm going to increase my heal a bit. Increase purge. As well. We can put level purge up to max. Alright. We'll probably focus on that. You need to do more dots. put up boost as well. I guess we should level up your arts too. I'm just so used to having my like double attack gems and shit as well. You know what I'll do instead of purging him? I might knock him down. Stop shooting those out. We still did it though, and that's what matters. We even get anything good from that. 
That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. I mean, three slots is, does matter. But I don't have anything to put in those slots just yet. You got a husk chucker. God, we did all that work for essentially nothing. Um, but hey, it happens. I was hoping that Shulk having uh, agility down and lowering the physical defense and the agility of the Ponyo would make it miss a bit more than it did. But I guess we need more agility up. A gentle clam. Me when the clam is gentle. much higher up than Frontier Village in Magna Forest. Or even Aerith Sea. Strange, so strange. But why this island is floating higher than even clouds? I think I remember something from an old book. As I recall, the Bionis Shoulder was once inhabited by the Giants, a highly advanced race. There used to be many islands floating above Aerith Sea, you know. Kinono? Teeny tiny islands floating in sky. Very fantastic view. The giants. They could process and utilize hoverstone, a mineral with floating properties. <laughs> Amazing! In Earth Sea, they gather so much hoverstone, it lifts up whole continent. Actually, you might have it backwards. Maybe they took hoverstone from here and transported it back to Earth Sea. Whoa, elementary! Kino, 220% agree! Of course, it's best to take all this with a grain of salt. Huh? Until now, no Homs, or even Hyentia, have set foot on this continent. That's why the book's author might only be speculating about some aspects. No, no, it makes sense! Can be no mistake in theory of Shulk. Shulk really do know everything! Just like Dad at once say. Oh no. I'm positive there are things I don't know. Dad at once say, friend Shulk is brainy smart, know everything. And also brave and cool, and could do anything if he put mind to it. Did... did he really? I'm actually a little embarrassed now. Nothing to be embarrassed about! It's only a good thing. Also say Shulk is number one sidekick of Zenapon! Next in line of awesome! <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> Good old Ricky. This DLC is just making me love Ricky more. Which is, you know, I already enjoyed Ricky a lot. I did feel like they underutilized Ricky in the story. But this DLC, man, it's hitting. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I really enjoy not seeing just... Pardon me, not just seeing like green planes either, like seeing orange... You know, actual orange planes and shit. Basically, I'm enjoying different... Oh! different colors in the uh, good old Xenoblade theme. Focus our efforts. I can feel the power. Poison 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 power.
Go get them all, you little nothing cunts. Oh, they all ran after that chest, huh? Look, this is a green crystal, so that's very important to me. Love a good agility up. Let's uh, swap Melia out of the party. Ah. Come on, do your spinny moves. That's why I got you in here, to spin. Take it back. Qualified, certified, uncontestified. Alright, what do you need? Oh, that's it. We just... We just help him. Boop. Another blue one. We only have one more blue to go. Getting pretty excited with that. Ah, Grotesque Damus. Let's go for it. Dive impact, uh oh. We got our asses thoroughly kicked. Turns out, um, I, I don't know. I keep getting my ass beat, and I'm like, hmm, the next enemy. Let's just fucking go balls to the wall. <laughs> and then I get my ass beat, and I'm like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have done that. We'll come back for that guy, though. It's not like I'm going to forget him. There you go, Nay Nay. Sw swing it around.
There's more coming. Oh, that was a lot of fucking monsters. But luckily they were all relatively weak. It's a shame we're not getting any uh, gems from chests. Missed opportunity. Just the same equipment over and over and over. Oh, there's the manta raids from Black Mountain. Yeah, the Moromoros. I wonder, is there an easy way down here? Yeah, we should be able to survive it from like here, right? Maybe? Fuck it, we bore. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay, we just got a marker here. Maybe around here? Oh, there is something here for us though. Protected by some quad wings and hucks. Oh fuck, they're all here now. the affinity
These fights aren't annoying, but I feel like they drag on more than they need to for like easy mobs. Right, what did we even do this all for? A hover stone. We were just talking about those. Can I jump down from here to here? This isn't going well. Yes, I can. Oh wait, I could have always just dropped down here. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I did all that extra for nothing. There's some stuff over there, but I'm more interested in going this way, honestly. And just like... Sorry if you don't like me exploring, but I'm going to explore. Also, I'm just reading Rose's comment now of... Makes you love Ricky and he's not even there. He's just that good. Yeah, he is. I feel like his kids are expanding very well on his story. Good footing is uh, pretty dog shit. Agility down three, though, uh, is pretty nice. Oh, we got some dinos? Those are usually found around um, good old Mac the Forest. No, Mr. Ferris, I just, I just, I just need that item, Mr. Ferris, please. Thank you. Me when I'm a Final Fantasy tank and I'm pulling wall to wall. Some tokens, some confluent Uz Uzva. Oh, he's like a quad wing. Oh, that token is running to tell all his friends. Little do these people know that I'm just going to run. What are you gonna do? Follow me? Shit, he's following me. Can you leave already, dude? You should have left when you had a chance, buddy. Oh, we got a new... Madcap Stopper R. More crit and damage, but less defenses and block rate. And it looks different, too. I like how they just animated all the knock on to look the exact same while, like, swinging their weapons around. <laughs> they all look like just Ricky. Yeah, there were Tortoise down here. They're from Satoru Marsh. God, they really just put the whole fucking zoo in here, didn't they? They're asleep, though. They have their necks in their, like, shell. Unless they're, like, charging up. You know, like, those videos of, like, a dumbass fucking white lady going up to a, to a turtle? A snapping turtle holding out a banana and then it snaps at her and she's like, oh my god. I hate the sound of that place. Wait, what's this way? Gamaro Hollow. Old Expedition HQ. Buff time plus doesn't matter. 
Blaze plus, kind of good for Melia. Buff time plus, doesn't matter. God, Pokemon Scarlet Violet really had no fucking excuse, huh? You speak to Nanona? Nanona? Qualified, certified, deified, prospector, no, 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 his name. But what is in the name? Peh. <laughs> okay. You're like the official version. Thingamajigger 13? Okay. Defeat the Thingamajigger 13. Sounds like a fucking Kingdom Hearts boss, but you know what, buddy? Whatever you say. I hate that sound. Oh, we got some Lakit Mammoths from Magna Forest. We better not go for those items. There's quad wings all around. Some dinos around too. Uh oh. No way, we got some dinosauruses as well. Yeah, dinosaurus. Spike defense, that's pretty good. But only two is kind of sad. And aqua cloak can go to hell. Oh, dude, is this Kong versus Godzilla? Did they just make a King Kong fucking reference? It's sick. I like that. That make me happy. Quarry Colonnade. Oh, so you don't go here through the other place. Nice. Zek Marker Quarry. Ah, level 60 area with a bunch of spiders. Do you know what I love more than anything in the world? Spiders. Spiders are my favorite thing. And I hope that every single JRPG uses spiders. You know what? There's no reason not to just use spiders always. Spiders are so cool. Fuck, I love them. I kind of want to explore all of this stuff before trying to go to the capital, though. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to explore all of this stuff. Especially since this game rewards you with XP and shit for exploring and finding new areas. So why wouldn't you, honestly? We also have at least one of the uh, field team members here. The place almost looks like Prison Island up there. Days up and days plus don't matter. Paralysis 3. Good against some. Not for us though.
I'm guessing this is one of the uh, favorites. There it is, 8 out of 20. Spiders are cool and fun and so original. You're right, Rose. You know what? I should change my icon to a spider. Look at these baby tolkos, though. Oh. Oh! I'm not in the mood to fight you, buddy. I just wanted to mine the ether crystal, I'm gonna be real. I'll come back to kick your ass too, buddy. Sky Garden Ruins. Set set. Qualified, certified, never not, ain't not, pumpified. Alright, what do you want? Kill Rogals? Defeat Bodacious Rogals. Bodacious. Holy shit, there's a lot of bunnies. Part of me wants to just fight them all. So you know what I'm going to do? one Nene, can you start doing like your big AOEs? I do like a good bunny genocide. Oh, this will probably be important. Martial artistry and aggro up. What is that? It's for anyone. AP up. And it's good, just in general. Um, let's give it to you. Alright, that's just better. You lose out on the HP up gem, but like, you gain out in total, so... We could put HP up on you and may as well put Blaze Plus. I will say I am very much enjoying exploring completely new landscapes. 
I feel a bit bad because I'm like, oh, this is good content, just exploring. But you know what? If people are here watching Xenoblade, this is part of the game. This is part of the experience. If you just wanted to watch all cutscenes, I'm sure they would have Googled Xenoblade Chronicles, all cutscenes, and just watch those. Can we not go through here yet? No, we cannot. We cannot access all of this. Well, I'm going to make my way to Alchemoth and see what's up. But first, let me um actually make a save. Since I haven't saved yet. I don't give a fuck about you trying to chase me. Think I'm scared of a quad wing? Also, while we're here, we should check out the Collectopedia. Nice, we're only uh, four off. I wonder if we actually get to go inside of Alchemoth. And I wonder if the Collectopedia are going to be the same. Oh, there's the fucking Rogals. Can I get some healing, buddy? Thank you. Right, there's one down. You know, before we go into um, Alchemoth, if we do go in, let's let's level up some stuff. Just in case there's a Telethia that's going to be annoying as fuck, we'll level up Purge. Um, I mean, I've leveled up everything else of yours that I really care about. Guess I'll do this one. You need to have your... I mean, Cure Round's decent. Healy Counter's good as well. And Boost is important. Boost is very important for you. Ah, it's time to take my medicine. Please excuse me.
<laughs> medicine taken. I have to take medicine for my eye after I went to um the good old ER the other day. It was um the eye medicine wasn't bad, but God, it made my stomach absolutely like go ape shit. My stomach did not enjoy uh, the medicine in the slightest. And had some pretty volatile reactions to it. I was in a lot of pain. Is the TLDR for that one. Alright, we can go back to um this one. But I kind of want to get to a uh, fast travel point here first. Then go back to grab that knob one. Actually, no. Just in case it puts me straight into a cutscene that I can't skip. What did it end up being? Good question. It was peri... I believe uh, periocular, which means um, around the eye. Uh, cellutitis or something, which is just a fancy way of saying infection. So, around eye infection. It's going down, but I was at the point where I couldn't... Um, I couldn't even blink without it hurting. That was tight, boss. So much strong. Sits that moves to many salty cheers. Alright, we'll let that happen. I'm going to take a drink of water to help this medicine go down because it didn't enjoy me dry swallowing. Shouting out of blood, sweat, tears of determination. Yeah, yeah you the boss boss. And even drinking the medicine now, or having the... I say drinking the medicine, it's captures. Um, I feel like vomiting, and it's incredibly bad. Um, like, my stomach is having a really bad reaction. Friending prospectors from all three teams, you have unlocked the ability to do coordinated attack, the Union Strike. Um... Three major variants to choose from, each with extra effects. Red Comet deals major damage to one enemy. Blue heals and grants regen and debuff immunity to allies. And Yellow Chaos forces Dave and strength down to all enemies in area. More Pond Specters you, you're able to befriend, the more powerful the Union Strike will become. When you use Union Strike, while all three allies are capable of acting freely, extra chance may sometimes occur. Form another Union Strike without using the Party Gauge. You cannot choose the same extra effect. Okay. More pod inspectors are in a state of high tension. Players' tension will go up, while all pod inspectors in state of high tension will revert to normal. So the more I sit on it, the better chance I have of the union strike. Continuing. Okay. Oh, pardon me. Oh, I'm really not feeling good. Ooh. Xenoblade, take me away. Take me away, Xenoblade. Make the pain go away, Shulk. Oh, God. I have to take a special medicine for it as well because I am deathly allergic to uh, penicillin. So... They had to really, like, try to dig deep to find a medicine that would work for me. On the plus side, I got to wear... I, I say got to, I still get to wear a, an eye patch, so that's cool. I kind of look like Majima from, um... What's that game called? Yakuza. With my hair tied back in a and an eye patch. Do I like like Joker from Persona 5? Taking notes about your allergies so you can find ways to kill me. Got it, got it. 
Oh, of course, there's going to be items that only come out at night, too, huh? Ah, Shulk. Did something catch your eye? Wow. What a view. It's nice to see the capital like this. Being able to see it from here. It's enough to make me tense up. In all honesty, it's making me consider my position and standing. I see. My brethren, who transformed into Telethia back then, and those who survived, feeling the sadness that seeped into this land. And then... My father and brother's expectations. Calling me the hope of the High Entia. I must be an empress worthy of taking on that mantle. But I don't know how. Much as I hate to admit it, I have not been able to find the right answer yet. Melia. Shulk, you of all people must surely understand. You who secured a future for all of us in that decisive battle. You know, I've been thinking a lot lately about what my visions were. Oh? The future that Zanza wanted. That was certainly one of the things I saw. But we fought to deny that future. And in doing so, forged our own path. That's part of it, too. Hmm. But now that I can no longer see them, I find myself doubting. Were we... Were we really actually determining our own fate all along? Well, it's a good question. But look, you have saved me more times than I can count. That did not come about because of your visions. You used your own judgment, and you chose to act, did you not? And thanks to that, I believe I've grown as an individual as well. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think I said anything funny. I'm sorry. You're right. I want my actions to have meaning, too. Not to craft Zanza's future, nor defy him and bend the world to a future of our design, but to give the freedom to choose, to all beings that call this world home. Freedom to choose, huh? What would my father and brother wish for? I wonder. I don't think you need mystic visions to work that out. Hmm? They just want you to be happy, right? <sighs> <laughs> My gloom is no match for you, Shulk. It's just as you say. To become the hope of the High End here is a fate I choose for myself. Those were the words Father imparted to me. There is no need to fear. That is how my brother... encouraged me. I've been so impatient and homesick. I nearly forgot those most important words. I can hear Father lecturing me even now, chiding me for my foolishness. I give you my thanks, Shulk. It's nothing. To lack clear-cut answers is hardly a sin, but a sin it would be to cease searching for those answers altogether. For the High Entia who live on in this land, nay, not only the High Entia, for the sake of all the people of this world, that they may decide the future as equals. That is the vision I choose to guide me. That is the future I wish for. Yeah. If anyone could make it happen, it's you. But I won't lie to you. The road ahead will be long and arduous. I hope you won't mind me lending a hand. After all, that's the future I want too. Shulk. I wish Fiora Indeed. didn't exist because be this would be the time where Shulk is like, you know, 
should go for it. But, you know, he has Fiora, and he doesn't want to go for a what? She's 89 now. Uh, an 89-year-old woman. I like these. These are way better than Heart to Hearts. Holy shit. Also, Daybreak's awake now. Oh, Sontar Seal Island! This is one of the floating islands that had the Chromar specifically in front of it that would, um, block you from getting stuff. He has no Riz, yeah. I said it would be the perfect opportunity for it. I didn't say he would. Also, uh, Daybreak just woke up <laughs> after about two hours. And the first thing she says is, didn't you speak about Backstreet Boys? <laughs> And correct me if I'm wrong, Rose, but I haven't said anything about the Backstreet Boys this entire stream. Um, <laughs> she thought that for some reason that I talked about the Backstreet Boys. So she must have had a dream about them or something. Luckily, it's mostly been me exploring, so story-wise you haven't really missed much besides getting to know some of the, um, the characters. Which I have to say, I really enjoy them. I think they're nice, but more importantly, they also make me love Ricky more. Which is, in my opinion, more important. Holy shit, Alexos. Alexos, stop recording. Oh no, that's a GoPro. Got an ID tag. Oh, you son of a bitch. You're really gonna make me jump. Uh, I should have just done this off stream in my own time. Stay strong. Believe when I say I want it that way. I didn't. That's the first Backstreet Boys joke that I've <laughs> I've made on <all> stream. <laughs> uh, it was like I wasn't asleep when I woke her up. I decided to wake her up during that cutscene. <laughs> Just like I swear you did. Why would all those Telethia be gathering here in one place? Transporter, over here! Huh? What is it? The transporter is running. So it is. But how? Maybe somebody activated it. In any case, we can't afford to dally here. Agreed. Let's go. What the... <laughs> did you say did you do the thing about the goats? What the fuck are you on about? Also, Rose, after stream, I also need to grab you in voice chat for a bit. What? Derek really wants cold milk. Well, there's up and goes in the fridge. They're close enough. Oh, Aquamoth is the same. It's just all dead and desolate in here. Holy shit. Oh, no. I hate exploring Aquamoth. Oh, this is cool, though. Look at this. They silent hilled Alchemoth. It 
It's good to be back. Home of Miss Melly needs some weeding. Housekeeping been slacking off. <sighs> Very true. We'll have our work cut out for us. What is it? Look up there. Wh what is that thing? Look like coal in sky. That's simply impossible. This world is still in its early days. That could explain the instability. That, or it's still being reborn. Does that really explain this? It could do. That Fog King creature. Is it from... It's a possibility. In that case, it may well be lurking nearby. Let's stay together and keep a close lookout. King of Fog, not scary to Kino. Kino, how about turn around and toe to face? No, no, no! Gotcha! Little joke there. No, no, big meanie! Mama? A child's voice. Where? Up there! You know the worst thing about Alchemoth? Is the fucking elevators aren't working. So we don't get the speed boost. Qu qualified, certified, highly extroverted. Alright, what do you want? High end to your feathers. Okay. Aw, oh, do we do this first? I don't know if we're gonna get, like, kicked out of Alchemoth, so I'm gonna grab this now while I can. I know, I'm breaking up the pacing of the story. I should be shot. Mystic Dahlia. Wait, let me check the Collectopedia. These are the same items. At least some of them. Riku, pumpkin faces. Mickey, it's Riku. It's time for a chain attack. Oh wait, no, that's a different quote. Well, the landmarks are all the same for this place. Star drops, I remember collecting five of those. Brings back memories. It's like I just played this game yesterday or some shit. I'm sure for a returning player this was like so fucking intense though. Alright, join my party, Dry Dry. Right, we got dry dry. We're only missing four pond specters. Which is pretty good. I can't help it, I need to get blue item. I feel like this place is either gonna get locked out to us or it's gonna get filled with telethia. Well telethia or other enemies, I should say. Oh, it's like a Moltres looking thing. Over there. The child is in danger. 
Quickly. Are you all right, child? Wait, Teelan. Teelan, oh, I remember him. I'm sure if we're able to beat him, he won't be the king of fog. Can I like purge? The music is getting pretty fucking nice though. They make me play with my fucking face on my controller for a sec. That's what attacked him. That beam. What about it, Shulk? That was the same attack that brought down the junks. Then that would mean. Here's the King of Fog. It looks like we found our Fog King. Yes, I would have to agree. What now, Shulk? We might as well try. Nay, nay. Understand. It won't work. You can't even land a scratch on it. Huh. No, no. Melia, Kino. Leave to me. Each face full of pain. Be gone. Oh, that's smart. She did her fire and ice elementals to rapidly, like, cause a fucking mist explosion. That's so smart. Why didn't Melia do that cool shit in the story? I mean, she did kind of. She did mind blasts and shit, but... Okay, this should be far enough. Those things can't follow us all the way out here. Oh? And you're certain of that? Yeah, sure. The Telethia will keep us safe. The Telethia will? Well, that's what Radsum said. 
Though, I don't think they realize it themselves. Ah. Right. Your mother was one of the affected. Yeah. Oh, I haven't thanked you yet. Thanks a million for saving me back there. Why were you alone in such a place? You could have been hurt. Uh. Just want to say that T Lin looks kind of like one of the children NPCs in like the new RuneScape. That's all. Sorry, miss. He get tall. Pipe down, not on obvious. I snuck in to gather research material. But then I tripped over some rubble and, uh... And that's when you were spotted, huh? Were you the one who activated the transporter? Yeah. I was given special permission so I could conduct my research. That said, I normally don't go anywhere without Big Sis. You have a sister. Well, we're not actually related. We've just been living here together. If I remember correctly, you wanted to transform Telethia back. Yeah. Oh, hey. My lab's over on the far end of Zen's thoroughfare. You want to come with? We can talk more there, where it's safe. You have your own laboratory. Not as grand as my old one, mind. We still don't understand the Fog King, or the monster that attacked Teelan. Maybe the Telethia are connected to all this. Teelan's research could help us make sense of it all. Yes, indeed. The thing that attacked... Ah, oh, you mean the Fog Beast? Fog Beast? Is that what you've been calling them around here? Fog Beasts always appear around the Fog King, so the name seemed appropriate. Makes sense. Right. I'll be going on ahead. You won't be guiding us on the way. I need to clean up. Else there won't be anywhere to stand. All right, see you. Hey, wait! He's gone now. What is it about science boffins? Always doing whatever they please. Huh? He get told. He probably have it coming. That's funny. Thrice damned fools. They think to second guess the will of the divine. Yeah, he is evil. Well, that was a oh, shocker. Holy shit. Wow, what a what a big a big shock. He was evil the whole time. Wow. <laughs> Fuck. Also, Shulk not only killed the divine, but Shulk didn't Alvis literally teach you how to tell your Monado to cut anything? Couldn't you have just been like Monado, activate new power. Kill Fogman. <laughs> Look at all the fucking knop on following me. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Look at him go. Ah, oh, advanced ones. So we want backslash. We need Healy Bullet for sure. And let's also take um, b -b boost. Where did you get all those chickens? <coughs> That's part of the game, mum. We go around and we save chickens. And then they join us on our chicken quest. Oh, we got another quest there as well. Instead of chain attacks, we get chicken attack. Don't tell that to Guy, though. He'll lose his shit. 
defeat the Antolis to rescue the woman. And they all join in on battle too. Oh, we could do our first Union Strike. Uh, let's do Red Comet. Oh. I fucked it. I, I didn't know there was going to be a, um, a <laughs> any sort of quick time event, let alone after I failed the first one that there would be multiple. Ah, I'm saved. We are the ones that defeated the Antos. Please accept my gratitude. My name is Lafael. I'm an Amu herder, self from Grandel. Amu's just recently started running out of fodder within the town walls. So I was walking around trying to find some more grassland. Okay. Can we start going towards Grandel then? Is that a thing we can do yet? No. Alright, so we need to go there quest-wise, but we have another quest here. I see. Could I get a look at that ID tag you've got? Yeah, I knew I recognized it. It's my brother's. No mistaking it. Would you mind giving it to me? Thanks, you don't know how happy this makes me. This fellow has some room next to us, that means at long last my brother found his nemesis and lost. You know, when we were excavating the capital, it was him that drew the monsters off to buy us enough time to escape. If it wasn't for him, we would not never have made it far as Grandel. He was our savior, he really was. Afterwards, he must have learned somehow that some of all Lexos can be found at Soltar Seal Island. Soon he went there to remove the beast and secure the path for anyone coming to from Alchemoth after us. Hey, by the way, my brother also had this bangle that was a family heirloom. You haven't found that, have you? You haven't, huh? That's a shame. Last I saw him, he was headed for the Baru Plaza towards Cinnabar Plateau. Already searched between Cinnabar Plateau and here, but found nothing. If you were willing to help, could you look for the bangle in the Plateau beyond? Sure. Nice. With that, though, I'm going to finally end the uh, stream here. I'll probably do some grinding, just kill some monsters, have some fun, level up. Um... But I'm I'm really impressed with this DLC so far. It does feel like a, I mean I say it's a DLC. It's not. It wasn't a DLC. Um, this was only added in the definitive edition, whereas the main edition did not get DLC because I believe the main edition was on the Wii. And Nintendo Wii plus DLC don't mix. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the support. My name is Chicka Chow, better known on the internet as Chicka Chow. And as always, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye-bye, goodbye, bye, bye-bye, goodbye, bye, bye-bye, goodbye, bye, my eyes.